Okay, today we're going to be throwing a bowl. And a bowl is a little bit different than a cylinder because in a bowl you have a rounded bottom. And in a cylinder the um, sides go straight down to a flat bottom and then the sides go straight up. So, the first step in throwing a bowl <coughs> is just um, centering the clay. All right, so you want to center the clay and think about the dimensions of your base. If you're throwing something and you want the base to be really large, you might start out with a flatter piece of clay, a wider base. But if you want a thin base, you can make that really nice and tall, okay? And that applies to everything, not just bowls. So, once you get this centered, I'm going to just sink the well. So put your thumb in the center. Go down to the bottom. I'm going to leave a little extra clay at the bottom for trimming. Alright, so then you open up sides. Just like you would with a cylinder. And instead of pulling straight from the middle on the inside and the outside right here, I'm going to put my finger right in the middle of the inside and start my pull from there, let it catch up with my outside hand, and then start doing a pull. Most all bowls start out as a flower pot shape. So the outside um, is not going to look completely finished until after we trim it. Trimming bowls is really important and that's how you get your final shape. But we're going to get really close. But the main thing is you want to take special care with that inside so that the bottom of it is nice and round. When you're looking at a bowl, you don't always see the outside, especially if the walls are really wide or it, um, the diameter is really wide. So you want the inside is what people see the most, so you want that to be nice and pretty. Also, don't want to get too wide too fast because your clay might want to collapse on you. So you see this nice flower pot shape that I've got going. I'm going to do one more pull and then I'll work on um, widening this out. A good tool to use with this is this little kidney shaped rib right here. It has a nice edge on it. And uh, most people, when they start to make bowls, they'll define the inside shape by putting their rib at the bottom and pulling up. Um, I found it better to start at the top and go down because what happens is you have a little um, bit of excess clay at the bottom, so it allows you to push a little bit harder. And when you get past that, your hand jumps just a little bit, and so that might contribute to um, a little, what we call beginner's hump, right down at the bottom. So pushing from the top to the bottom to make that form seems to make a cleaner curve. start to pay attention to the outside shape and see that uh, it's nice and round. It has a nice curve to it. So I can use a flexible rib on the side. B 
be sure that you're leaning over to look at the shape. So you can't always tell what the outside looks like from the inside. So I'm going to lean down. Look at that outside shape. Another important thing to do when you're throwing a bowl is to compress the bottom. Um, it's easy to let that slide and then you end up with some uh, stress cracks or S cracks in the drying process and this is simply because that bottom is not compressed. And I'm also choosing to work on a bat right now. Sometimes when you have a large form, um, it's hard to get these bowls off because the clay is stretched out and it's real wide and floppy when it's wet. So working on a bat seems to solve some of that, some of that issue. Okay. So I'm going to use my fingers, smooth that out on the top just a little bit. Make sure you get the uh, excess water out of the middle of the pots. And I'm going to put this outside and let this dry a little bit and then we can trim it later today.